So if you ever want to add a little bit more of a creative touch to some of your photographs, we're going to show you a really, really simple way of being able to change the colors of an object in a photograph. So this is our starting image and this is how we're going to end up. So let's dive straight in. So we're starting this really fun tutorial in Lightroom today and we've got a really, really simple shot here of two telephone boxes. So we're just going to concentrate on the one, I think, on the right hand side, just so you can see obviously how much difference there is between uh, the two when we finished it up. So simply with Lightroom, all we need to really do is use our adjustment brush. If you've not used it before, you'll find it over here on your develop panel. Um, pretty much right at the very, very top, just above the basic drop down menu there. So we're just going to click, select that and we're going to want to move a little bit closer in because the, the closer in that we can get, the more precise that we can be. And it means we don't have to repeat a lot of these uh, stages and these actions that we're going to do uh, over and over again. So just using control and plus on a Windows keyboard, we're going to be able to zoom in nice and close. And then all we're going to do from there as we move around the image is just start brushing on the shot. Now what that's initially doing is going to lighten the image. That's because the default of this adjustment brush here is just to add, uh, boost the exposure really, add a little bit of exposure by about one point. Um, so we're not too concerned about that. We can always remedy that when we've finished, but it does help us a little bit see the areas that we have um, that we are adding to our adjustment here. Now, if that's not showing for some reason on your version, you've always got the option of being able to show the selected mask at the very bottom here. The one unfortunate problem with that though is that it shows in red. And when you're painting over a red object, it's not always the easiest to be able to see. So I'm just gonna stick with the uh, the default as to what uh, Lightroom's given me here at the minute. I'm just gonna adjust the size of the brush as we go around here. and basically making sure we include all elements of the object that we want to change color of. So even if that includes other colors that are on the same object, it's down to you as to how much uh, how much precision you want, how much of the object you want to change, what colors you want to change within it. So you can be a bit more precise depending upon what you're doing here. But I'm just going to whiz around and select all of this red phone box to begin with. So there we go, we've managed to select all the areas that we want to actually include in our color change here. Now, if for any reason you've actually included areas that upon hindsight you think, actually, no, I don't really want to end up changing that, um, you can just simply undo parts of the adjustment brush. So if you can actually see on the middle of the adjustment brush here, we've got a plus icon. Now, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, you see that plus changes to a minus. So that's now going to subtract everything that you've added wherever you then brush. So say for example, I will select this telephone sign here and I keep holding down the brush tool at uh, the Alt key and I'm just going to brush again and that's basically going to remove all the selection that I made wherever I brush. So it's a good way of being able to just undo little bits of work if you think you've gone too far in hindsight. It's very much similar to an adjustment layer on, uh, oh sorry, last, a mask, a layer mask even in Photoshop. So I'm just going to do the same with the emblem at the top here. Remember to keep hold down on the Alt key just to undo any choices. And I've also been fairly careful to make sure I don't include much of the glass either. So now we've got our selection. It's now the opportunity to change color. Now it's up to us as to how much we want to change it. It may just be a slight adjustment. It may just be you, you kind of recolor balancing something if it's not been caught perfect in camera, or you can be going super crazy as I'm going to do right now. So now that we've got everything selected, we're just going to actually remove this uh, little bump in exposure that Lightroom's given us by default. So we take that down to zero. We know we've still got everything selected here, but that's just one of the adjustments that was being added by default. So you can always take that away if it's happened to yourself. What we want to do now is actually have a look at how we change the color. So we can use this fantastic little hue tool down the bottom here. We've got an option of using a fine adjustments. I don't think we use it, need to use it for this at the moment because all we want to do is change the global color of this red phone box. So it's now a fantastic little game of being able to put the slider wherever we want 
to change the effect. I actually quite like that green. It complements the, the red quite nicely. So it's just really a case of moving that slider left to right. And then what it does, it reveals all those areas that we've selected with our adjustment brush. And it's changing all those areas of red that we've chosen to our new green. But as you can see, there are little areas around the corners here where I've not maybe painted perfectly. So this is a good opportunity for us to go back in and add a little bit more to our adjustment layers. So to do so, we're just going to go a little bit closer in and we're going to zoom in a little bit tighter. And now if we click on our little icon here, this is basically where we started off our adjustment brush. So if we click on there, it means we can basically start off from where we were before. And then we're going to make our brush a little bit bigger. And now when we brush, it's going to automatically apply the adjustments that we've made in terms of color over our phone box. So we can now just tie up the edges quite nicely and just find areas that we've not filled in perfectly or any areas that we've overspilled on. And we can always go back. Say around the crown was a tricky area because it was quite precise. So I'm going to do my best just for the benefit of this tutorial to try and neaten it up. And I'm just going to go around the rest of the edges and just tidy up what I've missed before. So there we have it. That's our final version. We've got a really nice clean cut finish. We've gone in and just polished the edges a little bit more by adding some more areas to our adjustment layer. If you found that you've gone over certain areas and you've kind of spilled out to add selections that you didn't want to, just use that Alt key again, just to minus uh, and just rub out anything that you didn't want to include. But there we go. A very, very simple tutorial in Lightroom about being able to change the color of any selected object. If you've enjoyed that, if you want to know a little bit more about Lightroom, iPhotography has got its own dedicated, amazing Lightroom course that you need to check out. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching.